Taylor Swift surprised fans with a brand new album called Folklore, and we have tried to decode as many tracks as possible. I'm Jana Rosenberg. I'm Gabby Conti, and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. It's no surprise to Swifties that Taylor Swift's music almost always has a not-so-hidden meaning. Taylor's songs are either obviously about someone like Dear John released after her heartbreak from John Mayer or Style about, yes, obviously, Harry Styles. With other times, who or what her songs are about are, have more of a hidden meaning, like a lot of the tracks on Folklore, especially since Swift wrote the album while being in a healthy and happy relationship. So here is what we could find out about the meaning behind some of the tracks on folklore, so who right. they're about and all that kind of stuff. And we're totally gonna get into it one by one. However, I listened to this whole album back in front and my immediate thought was, is her relationship super healthy and Ooh. happy? Because I mean, you have to draw inspiration from something and, and she often does from past relationships, even if she's in a new relationship. However, there were a lot of songs on there, especially the first one, mm -hmm. which I'm sure we'll get into, that I was like, hmm. Well, so she collaborated with this album with uh, The National. Okay. Uh, and so like they co-wrote a lot of the tracks together, right. but a lot of the process was how she normally does it where she'll send a voice memo. Mm -hmm. So according to the guy from The National, a lot of the things that she was sending was kind of like hypothetical. Like she did a lot Got of it. like setting, like the narrative, instead of being like her heartbreak as Taylor Swift, right. a lot of the songs were actually written more from like, okay, wouldn't like here's a hypothetical couple getting into a, like talking this. about their relationship, which is yeah. what they did with um, Exile. So first let's take a look at Exile, which seems to talk about toxic relationships and appears to be almost a sequel to the song The Last Time from the album Red about three albums ago, as both are duets that appear to be a dialogue about the end of a relationship. On Exile with Bonnie Vare, the two play ex-lovers singing about the end of their relationship. Ivor opens the song talking about how quickly his lover left him and moved on, while Taylor responds that she can feel his jealousy about her new relationship, which she didn't suddenly leave. She gave him many times to get it right and he failed. Not sure if this song is aimed at a specific ex of Taylor's, rather it's a universal song about getting stuck in a toxic cycle of an expired relationship, which you may or may not have experienced, mm -hmm. but I mean, I have. I have, yeah. So I totally related to the song, love the song, um, and I love that Bonnie Bear's on it. I mean, I know he's not like the most poppin' artist <laughs> No, but, time, but that but does give you a great example incredible. of what, and actually it was so funny, because I was talking to my mom about this album, and I was like, Mom, yeah, you know, Taylor Swift has a new album out, and she's yeah. like, oh yeah, she has a song with Beyonce, and I'm like, what? Um, I think you mean Bonnie Bear. that's what not, like, she like misheard, like. <laughs> Such a mom thing. Such a mom like thing. I'm like, I'm like, Taylor Swift and Beyonce did like have a new that song out. Though. That would be sick. be sick. Another song from Taylor's folklore that seems to have a hidden meaning is Mad Woman, which is yet another dig from Swift towards Scooter Braun. So this is a song where it actually does feel like it's directed towards someone, but not romantic, you know, uh, her career-wise. Or at least that's what fans are hearing on this track with lyrics like, every time you call me crazy, I get more crazy. What about that? And when you say I seem angry, I get more angry. But this track also seems to be about echoing Swift's message from the man about the many injustices and double standards women face in society, as we know that that track was so obviously about Scooter Braun, from Taylor dressing in his drag to Easter egg signs that red nose scooters. But like, again, this one, yes, you could say it is about what she had to face with her career mm -hmm. with dealing with Scooter Braun, but I also think it is like, yeah, how hard it is to be a woman today and every day kind of Absolutely. thing. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. That's what I kind of got from that song. I mean, I also, it's really cool. I feel like all of her songs, you can totally relate to your own life in different ways. Yes. Like, I really that song to my life in a way, but not necessarily about, you know, the injustices of women talking. Yeah. However, you're so correct. It's really cool to see um, her songs in so many different point of views. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. And then there is Cardigan, which Taylor Swift also dropped a music video for. With the release of Folklore, Taylor also gifted her famous friends, The Cardigan, from the music video to celebrate her album release. Kesha, Jonathan Van Ness, Jaden Bartels, Hannah Hart, and Kobe Bryant's daughter, Natalia Bryant, all got cozy cardigans from Taylor with a sweet note wishing her sweater keep them cozy during these uncozy times. As for who Cardigan is about, fans think it's a love song to Taylor's boyfriend of three years, Joe Alwyn, who is not only the muse behind Lover, but is keeping Taylor cozy during these uncozy times. As we know, they're in London quarantining together. Well, and then I also love how, I mean, she just, if you think about it, like Lover was released, I think like a year ago. Mm -hmm. So it does also almost feel like it's like almost the opposite of the of the album Lover. Cause yeah. like a lot of these songs do, you could actually kind of like pair these songs to Lover and be like, oh, this is like the more updated, but it's yeah. almost like, 
the po the pre-quarantine world versus the like in quarantine world and how things have kind of just like changed over that time. Well, what do you guys think about Taylor's new album Folklore? And what are some hidden meanings that you might have heard or know about this album? Let us know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Jan Rosenberg. And follow us here at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.